following Facebook, what kinds of, you know, things you, you will react to. If you... Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about what is the best way to build the no like trust factor in Facebook so you probably heard all sorts of different things about how to build that how to grow your no like trust factor and if you don't know what that is we'll talk about that but basically it's all about attraction marketing getting people to know like and trust you so we're going to get to that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So you heard a ton of stuff about building a personal brand, growing an audience online, how to do it on all the different platforms the things that work everywhere but let's focus on Facebook what is the best way to grow your no like trust factor in Facebook using that social media platform right so we're going to get into that before though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis402 dot jsgagnon.com because I do share my screen and I do do a blog post there so you're going to want to go check that out all right so let's get right to it let's just kind of talk about I'm going to share my screen here when and you know this is the thing I I bet you've heard these things right what is the best things you know what is it that you need to do to build your no like trust factor on Facebook right you might have heard these things right you might have heard you know you got to post regularly you got to post every single you know day or you know multiple times a day all that stuff now I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that I'm saying that's I'm not I'm and I'm not saying that's not the best but uh, these are the things you probably heard right engage with those who comment have conversations comment on others posts share the groups answer questions in groups you know join groups do do become the person that people look look up to right because you know the answers and when they're looking for help and be the one to be there and all those things are not bad they're they're okay they're good you should be doing these right but none of these are really the best ways to grow your no like trust factor now here let me be clear you need to do most of these things if you want to build your no like trust factor but you know let's face it I'm going through my Facebook feed here I'm going to comment on these people's posts right and I'm going to say things to you know to, to you know about their posts right and that's one of the things that you know everybody tells you to do you got to go in the face in your feed right and you got to go comment on stuff you got to go like things you got to go react on things all these things is what you hear right you probably heard that tons of times how to grow you know go and comment on people's stuff go and engage on stuff go and uh, post stuff post regularly do do this do that right abc all that you probably heard all those things right so we're going to go into what it takes to do that so here's the thing so one thing you have to realize number one is that the posts you see in your feed are based on your activities so that means if you're liking and commenting and reacting to some posts that show up in your feed you're telling Facebook what kinds of you know things you you will react to if you if you if you're constant if you're reacting to pictures right if I'm the, like Angela Andrea here she's got a picture here and I if I react to that picture right I say something or I comment on it or something or I like it or react or love it or whatever I'm telling Facebook that I like pictures and you know this is crazy right it's really insane how specific Facebook and most social platforms are like that too right they're, they're they've grown to these ridiculous algorithms so this will tell Facebook that I like pictures with people and their eyes closed with glasses and probably dark hair right and you know probably a certain age too right so it, it it goes and looks at all those things and then 
then it'll show me more of that in my feed more people with their eyes closed more people with glasses more people with dark hair more people with a certain age right all that and I'm not saying a certain age as you know as old or whatever I'm just saying whatever age the person is Facebook knows that right because you have to put your birthday when you sign up an account right so Facebook knows the age of that person and the if I'm liking mostly pictures of a certain age group then that's what I'm going to see right same thing with like this black and white here right this this one here is just an image of text right this here is a picture of of uh well this uh, sherry's blonde right so and uh in their profile thing this is text so whatever you're engaging on Facebook will show you more of right so that's one thing to keep in mind now I'm not saying that that has anything to do with what the best way to build no like trust on Facebook is but this is something to understand about Facebook Facebook has a reciprocal algorithm so what that means is that whatever you do in the engine whatever you do in the in Facebook right Facebook knows you you comment on things you share on things you on pictures on videos on images see am I see mostly pictures right so either there's does do you believe that no none of my friends post videos that's of course that's ridiculous lots of people post videos right so why am I seeing pictures probably because I engage mostly on pictures or maybe because um well that's that's the definite reason it's because of that because it just happens that I engage on pictures more often than not right so I mean and so you know that's the thing so whatever you engage on you'll get more of that's one thing you got to realize but the thing is that it's not about it's not about engaging in your feed because engaging in your feed you're basically going to keep getting the same stuff the same, from the same people based on who's your friends how many friends you have that kind of stuff right so here's an, another tip that you got to go like they say go to groups right now I'm not saying these are the things these are oh, let's just put that here these are not the things that are the most that are the best they are great and should be done but something else is the best so, so I'm gonna get into that in a second but that's that's the thing sorry my nose is kind of itchy <laughs> okay anyways so what is the best right we're gonna get into that in a second but before we get to the actual best let's talk about where to engage instead of engaging on your feed you definitely should be going to groups right you go to your groups feed instead of your main feed and you engage in posts in groups right so that's definitely true that it's good to do that that you should be going to to to, to the news feed right and engaging in the feed of groups because that's based on you know you're in these groups right these are groups you joined right whatever groups they are you're in those groups so you're in those uh, in those Facebook groups so those are places where if you choose the groups right these are going to be groups where your target market is right so where people that you actually should be engaging with are right so you should be engaging on these posts more than posts in your feed well you should probably be doing both a little bit but going to group feed is is going to help with your with finding new people right because these are people that are you know uh posting in groups right that you are part of like this this is Robin here she's one of my I guess um dream 100 what whatever you know Russell Brunson talks about growing your your and circle of influence by engaging with people that have audiences that you already want right so she's got a great big group uh, a really good group on course creation and I'm in that right I'm in course in this course income secrets right so I make sure that I engage with her stuff right because I want her to see my stuff and she does the same I mean this is this is reciprocity and this is kind of how it works you go in there and you engage on people's posts that you want that have your audience and of course you engage in these groups like me I'm doing some nft stuff right now so I'm kind of lots of these groups I'm I was looking into Cato diets before so I joined these groups I do all I'm, I'm all over the place you should probably be cleaning up your groups which I haven't done but I should uh into focusing on what you're actually trying to target so you know 
clean up your groups so this is one of the things I don't do so so other things here's a thing other other things you should be doing right other things you should be doing so we should be cleaning up clean up the groups so I guess I should say leave groups that aren't in your target market whoops that's what my eye oh I got some, something in my eye okay leave groups that aren't in your target market right obviously you want to join groups that are in your target that are in I'll just say that it's obvious um and then you know let's uh no, it's good okay um and then so then you want to be making sure that whatever you're engaging right so en engage on group posts more than on uh home feed whoops home feed posts right because your home feed post is going to include some group posts but it's going to be your friends right so whatever whoever you're following or whoever you're friends with that you've engaged with in the past or that is posting comment similar to what you've engaged with in the past is going to go in your feed right so you won't you you still want to engage on that stuff a little bit but you know if you only have a certain amount of time every day you don't want to be wasting it on that because that's not the best way to grow your node like trust factor that's not it we're going to get into that I know you're probably thinking well get to it get to the point right but I kind of want to explain I need to explain these things before I get to what it is because you're not going to understand why I say what I say when I get there if I don't explain the rest right so okay so here's the other thing so you got to be engaging in groups um more than on home feed okay so the other thing uh let's see what can I kind of explain I mean the the main thing is that uh there's um whenever you're whenever you're uh deciding on what to do in your short amount of time you have right so you could be creating content you could be uh, commenting on people's stuff you could be uh engaging or just reacting on things you can go be navigating groups to find questions you can answer all those things are valuable right but the most most valuable what's the most most valuable the most valuable is actually engaging on people's profiles that are actually active so so the most the most valuable thing you can do whoops you can do to grow to grow your no like trust factor is to engage on people's personal profile posts um I guess people okay how do, how can I word that so so basically you engage on people's profiles post so that would be the same as well not exactly the same but similar to seeing stuff in the feed that are of those people but the problem is that you don't usually see those people's posts in your feed so you got to go to their profile but how do you choose which people to go check their profile right so do you what just go through your friend list and so you know do not let's say do not go by your friend list now you could do that by the way you could do that but you're going to waste a lot of time going to your friends that aren't even active anymore I mean you probably have I'm, I mean I got 4,000 friends I probably have half of them that haven't posted in a year right I mean that's one of the things you know cleaning up your friend list I I should do that too I haven't done that but that's I don't do it because I have another mechanism that I go and find the people that I care about right okay so do not go by your friend list right do not do not go by their birthday again it's the same thing I mean when I look at you know people's profiles and I just go by the birthday it's again it's the same thing I'm going to go look at you know the everybody's birthday that's today I'm going to go to their profile and I'm going to see that all they have on there is people say happy birthday and if you scroll down a bit you're going to see there's nothing for the last year or two years or whatever right except for birthday posts 
so that's kind of a waste of time right going to the list of friends clicking on the birthday then clicking on that profile then go and look at it all that time click 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 is a waste of time anyways for me it's a waste of time when you only have half an hour an hour a day you don't want to be wasting you know a minute for every single profile that you're going to try to find because you know clicking on things like if I click on this Rahu Dasam over here I go to his profile look at that I clicked it and well it's actually not loading okay I click it here and there now it's loaded but even then look I'm in a group oh look at that reload page there's some bug I guess it's a fake profile maybe now or but that's what I mean you're doing these things and it's the wasted wasted time of of loading and waiting and finding that it's not worth using and <laughs> all that all that stuff is like why waste time with this right so look at that this guy here I guess doesn't really have a real oh it loaded now okay uh but now there's no this guy doesn't exist maybe it's a maybe it's a maybe this account got disabled just now right as I'm trying to show you something right um <clears throat> but as you can see it's slow look at that I'm trying to go back and it's not even loading yet and it's like making me wait here and it's got like it's ridiculous right how long it takes to load this up now of course it depends too on how busy your computer is what else you got on your computer and everything else too but even then all that time is wasted you waiting for things right you waiting for this stuff to show up is a waste of time right do not do not uh visit profiles via groups okay, if you visit profiles through groups you're going to go to their group profile and then you have to go to their main profile and then you see whether they have stuff all that takes time right don't waste your time with that so okay what is the best way what is the best way the best way is to use so okay so what is the best way right what is the best way what's the best way the best way um is to leverage so it's, it's to leverage tools without compromising compromising right compromising the integrity of the Facebook Facebook uh platform uh rules right okay so so what does that mean what does that mean right so you you can get a whole bunch of tools out there you can go and get tools that let you send messages to people that you're not supposed to be doing with a tool you can get tools that um let you keep track of you know it goes and it goes and gets all the data out of your Facebook account and lets you connect with other people's accounts and all these different things that Facebook doesn't really want you to be doing but there's people that figure out how to do it and if you use it for any length of time it's going to cause you problems anyway so I don't recommend you do that at all but there are tools that do follow the rules and that do help like I've I've seen tools where you can and this is not the tool I'm talking about but I'm seeing tools where you can for example click on a person's uh, profile and then instead of send, instead of sending them a message all it does is it lets you type a few letters like a b and then this is a pre-typed message that pasted in your uh, messenger and then you can send it right so you're still in control of the actual message sending and your so and tools like that you know really do help they help because they minimize your waste wasted time of say typing the whole message if it's always kind of a similar message but maybe with their name in it or something or maybe with their uh, birthday or whatever else you can get from the from their profile that's that can be done without compromising the Facebook platform rules right that's those are tools that are okay now the tool that I want to talk to you about is what I've been using obviously you're probably knew there was some sort of you know I, I'm going to talk about something that I use that I want you to use and uh, you know if you don't want to hear it just go ahead leave leave this uh stop watching this video uh stop reading the blog if this is written in the blog this way I'm not sure if I'll write it this way but just you know 
just, just leave don't worry about it it's fine you don't have to but this is what you need to but before actually you know what before I get into the tool itself let me talk about the process so when I go through uh my groups here let's say I go into my groups which is not the group feed this is a I think anyways is that just a group list so I'm not really sure what's going on with my my computer is really slow right now there must be some processes that are taking up Mm hmm okay so yeah I guess it's the same thing this is a group feed okay so if I want to search for groups well I guess I see my groups right here groups I've joined right so lots of groups here there's lots of groups if you go through your groups list obviously you want to have groups that are um like I said you want to make sure that the groups you're in are the the that are around your target market who is it that you're looking for what whatever you're selling you know who would be interested in what you're selling and where are they right so for me it's a you know course hosting platform it's uh, online courses that kind of stuff so I've got lots of groups that I'm in that have to do with affiliate marketing that have to do with personal branding that have to do with uh you know uh right now uh, nfts and things but if I look at just the groups like I was telling you Robin here this is Robin's group if I go to this group right this is going to take me to that group and then I can go through that person that the the post in that group right so if I just uh I just uh, this is really frustrating how slow this is maybe I need to reboot my laptop but anyways so so Robin's got she's posting things regularly right and she's in this in the group here and other people are posting things in the group right but here's the thing so who do you engage with do you just comment on every single thing that's in this group well I would recommend not to do that because you know there's there's some and there's there's some uh posts I guess that are going to be spam so you don't want to waste your time on those what you want to do though is you want to look at who commented on posts see how this person here right this guy here he commented on this post so that means he's on Facebook he's in he's there he's actually posting on Facebook well maybe not posting but at least engaging in groups so you will find these people you see how Robin commented here then there's Stefan here there's Alicia here there's Emmanuel here there's uh Sylvia Peters here and then there's Michael Burke and Ross Cossery now all these people that are commenting in these posts on these groups right Casper right here <coughs> they these people are active on Facebook so this is the first step you find who is active right so let's go back to here so find so number one find your groups find find your groups right where your target market um gates, right so you can find your groups where is it that your target market is in right so number two <clears throat> number two you have to uh look for who is actually posting and commenting right so you got to find who is actually posting and commenting like I said when we go through this list here who is come posting Emmanuel here Robin here uh, this Robin again um there's a there's uh Nitu here there's a cake Kaken um you know there's uh Rachel Kaken again so these people are active in this group right obviously depending on the the group size you'll have more or less people but I would recommend you don't go to a group that's got millions of people in it because you it's it's uh, the strategy that I'm going to get into in a second that I'm going to get you the whole details of is not going to be easy to use I've actually tried in click funnels group clickbank group and it's really really hard in those groups because there's so many people and there's so many posts all the time so what you want is uh is uh look who's actually posting and commenting and then number three you go to visit their personal profile to see if they are posting 
so so that's the third thing you do you go visit their profile so this is something that basically if I go here I go to Tina Edwards here I go to here uh no actually I have to click on her open a new tab I'm going to open it in a new tab then I go to their profile their well the, this is the thing it takes a bit of time because the first thing you do is it takes you to their per their group profile right over here and then after you're on the group profile that's you don't know yet because this is just whatever they post in the group right this is just what they post in this group uh group post right so what I have to do is you got to click on here and you can say view main profile so now when you go to the main profile now you see their main posts right their 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 main page so you see this this person is actually posting right so she she said something here about well what you know she's posting stuff right so then you can kind of see okay this person is actually active so now what why does that matter what do you do you send them a friend request you send them a message no 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 so this is the other thing so do not so number four uh do not send friend friend request or pm or pm right away so don't do that you don't want to do that do not do that do not send a friend request why because this person has no clue who you are if you send them a personal message you know hey I just saw you in a group and I thought we could connect and yeah sure you know some of them are going to connect but you're just a random person amongst all the other spam they get right so that's not going to really it's they're not going to have a good feeling about you so even if they connect they probably won't even you probably never have a conversation even if you ask them a question they're going to find it annoying because they don't know you they don't care about you right so what do you do then what do you do well you engage on their posts look at that so number five engage on their posts so what you do is you like their posts comment on their posts you know you say this like this person here right whoops uh you actually well here's the thing sometimes you can't even engage on their post because they did not enable their they did not enable their public comments so that's another thing if they don't enable public comments well maybe you can't and you can't comment on their stuff you can't you know engage on their stuff you can like it right sometimes they don't even have that enabled at all other times they don't have their personal profile post showing because they're not public they're just making them to their friends right so if you're not a friend of theirs you won't be able to see this right so I'm just gonna uh, in this case I would just you know like their stuff maybe love it right and then I would uh, just just that's all I would do I can't do more right and uh and so engage on their posts so number six uh if they are public public so you know if they're public um or well I guess that I you know that's okay so that's the thing so you engage on them now why do you do that that's not going to do anything right that's not going to do anything it actually won't do anything if that's all you do right you can't just do that so now number seven keep track of keep track of this activity so what you gotta open up a spreadsheet and put their profile in and say okay today I engage on their stuff and then go back five seven days later you know a week later two two weeks later something like that and go and engage on their stuff again or go every single day like what do you do right the secret is that whenever you engage on their stuff <laughs> you show up in their notifications look at that so I got 20 plus notifications oh, I probably got 15 notifications so in notifications you're I'm I see you know this Elizabeth here she commented on a bunch of stuff Kate well three things I actually went on her profile and I commented on stuff so that means that she saw my face in her notifications same thing with Kate here and Valerie and Jean, Jeannie and uh, there's Valerie again right just uh, Valerie Valerie right so that's because when I'm engaging on their stuff they see my face in the notification so this is what happens this is just the human that's how it works right you know how they say that it takes you know five to ten exposures for somebody to actually look at your thing and buy your stuff or whatever well this is how you get that exposure to them they see your face they see your comments 
their comments are nice they're posting stuff on Facebook because they want comments they want people to react to their stuff so when you do that you're immediately seen as somebody who cares about them right so if you care about them they're going to eventually care about you so if you keep doing that over time they'll start to go now like I was telling you there's a tool I use it's called active group users and and you know you can imagine how much work all this is right all this stuff doing all this keeping track of it uh going and finding their post going and finding their profile going and seeing if they're if they're active right all that stuff takes a lot of time to do right so this is why I use this tool I mean I created this tool I use it for myself but I it's it's something anybody can use you can get a a certain number of groups added there's all these different so what you do is you add groups to it right and then you schedule it so that every single night say for example right I have under options here I have a schedule at 2 a.m basically at 2 a.m it goes and finds people who are actually active in groups right it goes and finds the people in the groups and then it presents you with this data so if I click on view data here uh, it loads up the list of people that are actually that it found yesterday and then it keeps you know so that's it gives you a list of who is actually active in groups so you can go and engage on this so like I said right here you can go and engage on their post and what it does it gives you the link directly to their profile directly to their profile right so this this shows you the also it shows you the posts and the comments and so you can kind of tell what these uh, people are posting and it gives you their their the link to their to their actual profiles right their actual profiles are here uh the, if I click on this it opens up this pop-up that shows me what the post was what their comment was and I can add other things if I ever want to enter their uh, more details but over here I can click on this and that'll open up their Facebook profile and I'll be able to engage on their stuff then I can keep track of how many comments I did how many posts I did and when I when I save that over here uh, let's see these are all people I have not engaged with so let's just sort it the other way uh, let's do this <laughs> I just want to show you the if I sorted the reverse the visit so once I visited people's profiles it shows up it adds up right so Stephanie Odin here I visited her profile 13 times uh whoops let's close that I visited her profile 13 times I did I reacted to 15 posts and 15 comments this is 10 19 so these numbers here represent how often I visit so I can now I know that Karen here I've visited her profile often enough that she would know my face in her notifications regularly and I can actually send her a message I can say you know I, I we've been following each other for a while I was wondering if you would if you would ever look at something that could really help you with x whatever it is that you're offering right you can do that and the thing is that when you do that after they've seen you for a little bit they are gonna have they're gonna know you they're probably like you they might even trust you at that point after seeing you often enough and this is a human thing the more we see something the more we think we know it and the more we think we know it the more we trust it and it's just it's just how the brain works it's ridiculous and they'll keep programming teaches us that and this is one of the things this tool does now if you want to get this tool you just go to activegroupusers.com just go to that url right there and you can actually download it and install it it's actually free there's a there's some additional features that you would pay for but you can use all the features for 14 days and then after that if you choose to use if you choose you want the advanced features then you can pay it's really nothing but for what it gives you it's definitely worth trying out and finding out all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.